Hi, Scott. Meatloaf. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? Good. Good. Well, I'm in Melbourne, so we're back into a... I'm sorry. in Melbourne, okay. Yeah, we're back into five days of lockdown, but it's only five. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you've, been, you've been in lockdown forever. Yeah, we're experts. <laughs> well, everybody's um, an expert at this point. Absolutely. Um, I've loved, you know, your movies and music and everything. Like, it's been awesome. Uh, one of my favorite movies was Five oh, Hang on. Scott, we got to take a picture. Ready? All right. Smile. <laughs> Three, two, one. Got it. Okay. Go. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, Fight Club's one of my favorite movies. Like, I loved how, you know, you played Bob. Um, I was wondering, like, do you reckon that um, Tyler Durden could go on to become the Joker? It's kind of, it could look like an origin movie. I could do what? You lost me. You know, could, could I know Tyler, Tyler Durden, Durden go, yeah. Could he become like the Joker? Like, you know how, like, Heath Ledger was the Joker in The Dark Knight? You mean, could Brad Pitt be the Joker? I was wondering, just like the character of Tyler Durden, as in, like, you know, um, could that be how he got there? Well, which face would you use? <laughs> Don't know. Oh, it's um, it's Valentine's Day here. I wanted to ask you, like, what's the one thing you wouldn't do for love? Because of that song, you know? Well, it's not what I wouldn't. If, if, if you listen to the song, it's all the things that I wouldn't do for love. It's in there. There's about nine of them. I'll never oh, lie okay. to you, and that's a fact. It's just that Jim wrote, instead of going, I'll never lie to you, and that's a fact, I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. He wrote, I need anything for love, I need anything for love, I'll do anything for love. And the time you get to wonder that, you go, what's that? But it, just, it was the line before you start to, and there's a lot, there's about nine of them. I'll never stop dreaming that's of fun. you. I'll never do it better than I do it with you. Uh, I'll never cheat on, I, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them. Okay. Well, it's but been so it's awesome talking to you, like, Go ahead. Sorry. I put another 10. You got, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I loved um, the Pick of Destiny, that whole thing with the Kickapoo song. Oh, yeah. That was great. I don't, that was great. I, I get so in character that you sitting here, me talking to you, me personally, I don't remember doing it. Mm, okay. I've only seen it. It's like when I do a show, I don't know what I'm singing. I don't yeah. know. We've taped every show since 86. It's only the next show. I go in five, six hours early and I hear the tape. That's the only way I know what happened. And so if there's a phrasing issue or there's a flat moment or something like that, and it's consistent, I try and get to the band and we try to figure out a way to comprehend that because they're all characters and they're all triggers. Like when I do that in Bad Out of Hell, have you ever seen? That's a trigger for that character to come forward. Those are actors' right. triggers, and they're for every song. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue. That is and fascinating. It, yeah, it's it's very weird. Yeah, I I like I do clinical hypnotherapy, so I don't remember shooting any film. I remember being on the set, and I remember yep. doing certain things, but I do not remember the when when they yell action and we're really doing it. Everything disappears. The camera, the people standing around, the lights, it's gone. It's just yeah. me and the person that I'm supposed to be talking with. Yeah, you it's transform. It's a strange thing. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's like an identity thing, that your identity becomes that person. It is that person, totally. Yeah. Like, I do um, clinical hypnotherapy. I've done that full-time for 10 years. Um, and I've always just been interested just in the mind, the brain and everything and always learning. Like, I don't know if there's ever, you know, a point where you become an expert. I know. But yeah, so. like, when, yeah, always just, <laughs> there's always just new stuff just coming out. Like the world's always surprising us. But yeah, it's, it's interesting, like how, like you do become like, um, even just the life, like in, in real life outside of acting, like when you become a character, like when, when you step up for a situation, like you actually, you can access a strength or you can access like different styles of memory or the ability to think, depending on like who it is, like, you know, that you're being at the time. I don't remember doing Eddie. Yeah. I mean, I have had that. <clears throat> I learned how to really 
get into a character in high school. Okay. And I don't you know. Were, um, because you were trained, like you did, like um, he was saying, like all of the actual like acting training before, like you got into like say Rocky Horror, right? Oh yeah, I had done, and they wanted me in actor studio. I can't remember what's his name was lobbying me to come to actor studio, and he did direct me in a one act. It was about uh, a fourteen minute one act in between two other one acts. Oh, I can't remember yeah. his name, but I. I don't I don't like method actors at all. I don't I don't I mean I like them as people, they're fine, but I don't like working with them. They're okay. especially the ones that are really greedy. And I worked with one that's really greedy in a movie. And yep. he said to the director, Well that he's not doing it right. <laughs> I looked at him, I said, What are you talking about? And he goes, Well, that's not how I pictured it. And this guy was one of the ones. And I, I go, I don't really care how you picture it. We were getting in a fight. And uh, the actress I was with later won an Academy Award. We were doing that. We were a couple. And um, I can't remember her name either. But she went off the set crying. And eventually the director said, well, just do what he says. I said, no. I said, I'm doing it. He, either he gets it together or I, you know, you don't shoot the scene. Yeah. Like, I think it's important to stick up for your values and to, you know, to, to make a stand and be who you are. Oh, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to, no, I wasn't going his way. <clears throat> yeah. So um, how have you been the last year or so? Like, has, um, has the lockdown stuff or COVID affected you personally? Or? Well, yeah, it affected my teeth and I've had a lot of surgeries and I had surgeries postponed that are happening now and they're all bunched together, driving me crazy. Scott, we got to go, babe. All right. Well, thank you so much. Massive You're fan welcome. of your work, and it was awesome meeting you. You have a great day. And keep rocking. You too. Thank you so much. I shall. <laughs>